The next review is on hotelwebdesigners.com, which is a recently redesigned site. And it's obviously going for a very specific niche, which is really good. They've identified their market. The keywords in the domain name are absolutely focused on that market. And the, the website itself is obviously clearly optimized. Got hotel web design, hotel and web design are mentioned all over the place. So I can imagine they're going to rank pretty high. What I'm going to be focusing on in this review is the visual design. And we're going to start with the home page. So, First things that jump out to me when I look at the home page is tonally light gray pretty much dominates the the background is light gray and the main content area is white which is great perfect start a lot of my favorite sites do that and that's good because it doesn't make a big contrast of tone between the background and the the main content area and big changes of tone boundaries of tone which make high contrast draw your eye and this doesn't do that. However, what it does do is that there are, there's a lot of grey lines around. If you notice that pretty much all the content that's above the fold here, and I'm showing you quite a large screen, all the content above the fold is in a box. So we've got white boxes against white with a grey border, white against white, grey against white. So the net effect of this is that you don't really know what the content that's on this page actually is. So you expect to find content that's sitting actually directly on the page canvas. And with so many borders and boundaries going on, it's quite hard to know what the page canvas is. So it's only actually when you scroll down that you find that this is the content that seems to be native to the page. All of this other stuff is pretty much call out. So we've got this banner area at the top. But then the main call to action here is in a box and this the side column is in a box as well. I also noticed that the text size in the side column seems to be very big. So that's like a heading size, but it's almost a small paragraph of text. It's kind of hard to interpret what the main content of the page is meant to be. You are in initially very much drawn to these lovely photos and they work well. But in this intro with the, the cross fading going on, it's a little bit hard to tell what it's actually promoting. Creative excellence and exceptional results. Okay, I get that. They're, they're, they're talking about their service here. And then contact us today. But then there's a sequence of slides that seem to be talking about the kinds of hotels that they do. Luxury five-star hotels, relaxing resorts and spas. So it could be slightly confusing when you first arrive. Am I at the website designer's site or is or is this promoting hotels and i think that if you're going to grab people's attention at the beginning with this these large images appealing images there's there's a lot of color a lot of diagonal lines a lot of contrast on some of these this is one of the first things that draws your eye when you first arrive if you're going to do that you really want to be starting to make your position felt you want to say this is where you are, this is what we do, this is how we're different to everything else, and this is what's in it for you. This is who we do it for. Those are those main things to answer that initial question, am I in the right place? 